Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dankoni here, and welcome back to Overwatch. The anniversary is here, 2018. Two years of Overwatch. A lot's happened in that time, right? A lot's happened. But, I thought I might do a bit of a video that I haven't done in a while. We're going to discuss the skins. We're going to discuss... Well, we're not going to discuss it, but we're going to do a bit of a loot box opening. And then... We'll talk about the brawls, right? I think that makes sense. I've already done a loot box opening. Because I did it on stream the day the event started. I've already had two legendary loot boxes. Diva's got all of her unlocks. Reinhardt's got all of his unlocks. Mercy and Tracer are the first heroes to one over 100 unlocks available. Very, very interesting. Now... Skins. Let's not start off with Brigitte, because Bastion's the first one in the list that has skins. I really, really like this Bastion skin. I really like this Bastion skin. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's actually better than his Avalanche skin. In, in my personal opinion. You know, everyone has their favourite skins, but I think this... This stealth skin is better than the Avalanche skin, and I think it's actually better than June Buggy from last year. Although I do have a partial spot for June Buggy, I think this stealth skin is really, really nice. Really nice skin. And I'll be rocking that as soon as I get it. So we've had Bastion, we have a Brigitte skin. Again, I'm not fussed about this Brigitte skin, to be quite honest. If I had it, I probably wouldn't run with it. Or I might run with it with like two games and then probably switch back to the Spitfire skin. It's... Um, I'm just not... It's a nice skin, it's a nice nice remodel, it's... You know, nice, but it's not... Wow, you see what I mean? It's not blown me away. But I don't think a lot of skins have, apart from perhaps this one. Now this... Hands down, for me, is the best skin in, out of the lot. This is a real nice skin. I love this. <laughs> I love this and I haven't got it yet and it's pretty annoying. I thought the Talon skin, right, from Retribution was good, but this this is this is a whole new level. This will be my daily runner. And I have Spitfire, right? But this will be my daily runner. Once I get it. And I will get it. Believe me, I'll get it. I'll buy it if I need it. It will be my daily runner for Doomfist. I think it's the best skin he has available to him. So that's a Pogger skin right there. Who else did we get? We got... No, go away, Hanzo. Not talking to you. <laughs> Junkrat, we got the Buccaneer skin, otherwise known as Pirate skin. Again, this is a nice skin. I'll run it for a while. I'll probably switch back to Beatrat at some point, and then to Junkenstein. Generally what I do with Junkrat, switch around my skins. The Buccaneer is a nice skin. It's got a nice little gun to it. But it again, I've not found it to be anything real special for me. It may really be some people's cup of tea. It may not be some other people's cup of tea. But again, I don't think it's on the scale of that Doomfist skin right now. I don't think anything is. Lucio has the Bitrate skin, which is an epic skin. This is quite nice with the visualizer on his uh, visor. What is a visor with all with glasses? I don't know. I think it's probably a visor. This is a real, real nice skin. For an epic skin, I think. It's better than a lot of the stuff I've got, to be honest. Equalizer's nice, though. I like Equalizer and Jazzy. So I'd probably switch back to that at some point, And then on my uh, support account, i probably run Lucio on the bitrate skin. Now, we have Mr. Sherlock McCree. <laughs> This this is nice. <laughs> this is a nice little addition to the game. McCree's been getting a lot of skin love recently when you think about it. He's had Magistrate during the Lunar Lunar event. He had Van Helsing during the Halloween event. And now we've got Sherlock. I like this skin. I think I'll probably run this skin on McCree when I get it. To be quite honest, I don't play that much McCree. So... It's not too much for me to, <laughs> to imagine, but yeah, I could play some McCree in Deathmatch. I was playing a lot of McCree back along when I tried to get good as him, but my aim is just not good enough for McCree. We 
have an Arissa skin. Forest Spirit. I mean, when I first saw this one, which, yes, it was in the leaks, <laughs> I was not that fussed, to be quite honest. I don't think it's as good as Null Sector. I don't think it's as good as Immortal. So, it's a very nice skin, but it's not, in my opinion, the best skin Arissa has. Although, I haven't actually used it in-game yet. I don't think I've actually used any of these in-game yet. That's something, isn't it? I think I've used any. That's that's actually something. Uh, we've got a skin for Soldier 76. His Venom skin. It's a neat little skin. It's a neat little skin. I, I, can, I can respect this skin. I don't think the Soldier needed another flipping legendary skin. Although, I think you'll find May now has more legendary skins than Soldier 76. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven legendary skins for me now. How many does Tracer have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So May actually has more legendary skins than Tracer. Remember when we were all complaining about Tracer getting too many skins? Hmm? Talking of Tracer. <laughs> Lightning. Now, there's a big debate about lightning, isn't there? Because of the hair. Again, we had this problem with the Sombra skin back in Retribution. The hair is... It's not Tracer-like, but it is different. And I can appreciate it. The outfit's fantastic. Can't argue with that. The guns, again... I just like the vibrant colours. But it would not get in over graffiti. I'm sorry. Graffiti's just... Oh, I can't beat a good bit of graffiti. And then there's Cadet Oxen, Oxton as well, which is also a really, really nice skin from the Retribution event, which you can obviously pick up if you didn't have... Well, it's not from the Retribution event, it's from Uprising, but if you didn't have it, you can pick it up now. This is what I'm saying. Um, in terms of other skins, we have a Symmetra skin. Magician. I like this skin. And I hope the rework for Symmetra really does bring her in to a good place so she can be played, because this skin's nice. I like this skin, especially the arm. That's that's nice. I'd love to see that sort of like translucent effect on others. On other characters and other heroes skins coming in the future. This is I like this. It's something different. Cause we, we we've had particle effects now. But I wanna see something different and this is something different and I wanna see more of it. This looks awesome. But I don't know how many they could do it with so, yes, Magician's Symmetra, which looks more like the Mad Hatter's Symmetra to me, but hey, it's a Symmetra skin. Moving on from that, you have Torbjorn and Cybjorn. This is also another really nice skin. Again, <laughs> how much does Torbjorn get played? You've got two characters who really don't get played that are getting really nice skins, it's unfortunate. But hopefully, with the two reworks that are coming through, which are obviously Symmetra and Torbjorn, They'll be played a lot more, hopefully, but the problem is with Torbjorn is his rework is a long way away. We're talking like BlizzCon territory before we get Torbjorn's rework. So he's a way away. How many legendary skins? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have the same amount as Tracer now. Tracer's you might be worried that Tracer might be getting some skin love coming up, because when was the last time Le Tracer had a leg legendary skin? But hey, I say that. When was the last time D.Va had a legendary event skin? When was the last time D.Va had an event skin? I'm not talking about the big update. When D.Va got her black cat skin. I'm talking about regularly. You know, D.Va has only ever had three event skins. One from last anniversary. One from the first lunar event which was year of the rooster and then the first summer games so i think diva might be due an event skin and she's got what two four six eight legendary skins which is lagging behind some people how many does anna have now actually anna's also lagging behind so we could i mean anna's been getting a lot of skin love recently anyway though when you think about it 
So, have I missed any? I probably have. Have I not? Eight skins. One, two, three, four, five. Is that eight? Le is it eight legendary? I forget now. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm missing one. I'm pretty sure I'm missing one. No, I'm not. That's eight legendary and two epic. There should be three epic. That means I'm missing one legendary, right? What am I missing? I mean, dumb. Help me, I'm being dumb. See, this is what I do when I don't prepare for these things. How can I be missing a skin? This is so stupid. Oh, whatever. It'll come to me eventually. It'll come to me eventually. Anyway. This is really cool, right? And while I'm talking, I can get some loot boxes open. The new dancer modes are interesting, but... No... I don't think they're as good as the other dancers. I really don't. I think I've got most of them, if not all of them. So, I think Moira's is a bit weird. It acts a bit weird with her, like, arms. The arms of her um, coat. They act really, really weird. I'll show you guys in a minute, actually. But it looks weird. Wow, I don't have that. See... I don't do loot box openings very often because there's not that much for me to get. Oh, didn't I have your dance? I think Brigitte's dance is the best dance out of the three. I think it's the best dance out of the three. We're going to have that and we're going to equip that and we're going to equip it there. I actually like that dance. That's a really nice dance with Brigitte. I'm kind of disappointed we didn't get more emotes. But I suppose we, we were spoiled last anniversary with so many dance emotes. It, it was just crazy. Don't give me diva stuff. Everything for diva is unlocked now. Literally everything. Some of this base stuff that I don't have. I'm actually amazed I don't have it. Considering how many unlocks this account has now. This is going to take a while. Oh. Oh, yeah. Doomfist. Oh, let's go. We're going to play some Doomfist in a minute. Oh, yes. I wanted that one. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm actually a, a competent Doomfist player when I'm playing well. I haven't been playing well recently, though. I have to make, I have to make you aware that I have not been playing well recently. But... A couple of weeks ago, when I was playing better, my Doomfist is actually decent. I used to play him a lot in Deathmatch, so I want to get back into playing a bit more Doomfist. Ooh, two purples. Both I don't have. Oh, that's that's going in. That's going in. That's definitely going in. And Arissa's Dance that I didn't have. Uh, I like Holt. I often use Holt. I see, I, do, I was around for the anniversary last year, but I just didn't pick everything up. I already had Cruiser Diva, which was kind of fortuitous because I mained Diva for a very long time. Oh, that's a loot box. Ah, the Capoeira Lucio skin that I didn't have. That's cool. Doomfist stance, cool. Let's put that in. Uh, oh, crushing, I guess. Oh, that's a new emote as well. This is just a bit of a random dance to me. It's, I don't know, it's just a bit of random. Oh, and I need Tracer's Charleston as well. It's not Tracer that does the Charleston, is it? Yes, it is. I need Tracer's Dance anyway. Because Tracer's a hero I use quite a lot in Deathmatch. Symmetra Dance, I would imagine. Yes. Not that I'll be using that much. <laughs> Oh, I wonder how much total time I have on Symmetra. It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be much at all. So, we're getting towards the end of this now. Four left. We get a sneak one more legendary in. 
Oh, we can. Oh, yeah, I don't have Cyborg Hanzo. I just realized that. Oh, but the Sion skin, though. No, I'm equipping it. <laughs> Not that my Hanzo is that good. I have like a 36% win percentage on Hanzo this season, so my Hanzo is actually beyond rubbish. Hey, let's say that. Symmetra Emote that I'm really not going to use. And all this stuff that I really don't need. Right. How much have I got now on everything? Woohoo! How many more unlocks do I need for Arissa? Sprays? Oh, I don't think I have uh, Arissa's Pixel. And Arissa could be one of the next golden guns I get. So, the Doomfist skin. Shall we go and try it out? I like this Doomfist skin. May so well offensive. I'm not going to be playing now. We're going to be playing on Petra. That's something else I want to explore in this video as well. Petra is a really cool map. It's a really, really cool map. It's kind of an OP map for Farah though. Which is worrying when you're playing Doomfist. I'm going to play Insider. Because I like the the the, the style of Chateau Gear, but I'm not very good on Chateau Gear. I'm I think I'm better on. Come on, Messi! Come on, Messi! Oh, I thought I was going to. Why am I losing to this Messi? I'm going to back off because <laughs> I'm actually. Whoa! Behind me. I was caught in a crossfire. Is this going to be another one of those mercies that tears everything up? Damn it. Where is he? I don't really want to go and contest a Torb. What? Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> I'm not playing very well. Ooh. You're not getting away, Widow. Oh, of course. Oh, Don't play Torbin Deathmatch, kids. Don't do it. You better believe I'm coming for you, dude. <laughs> oh, dear. I love Doomfist. Wait, how did I miss him? Oh my god, my punches are off today. My punches are well off to- Whoa! Nah, dude. The fist is mightier than the bow. I'm not finished. Nah, I'm starting to feel it. I haven't played Overwatch in days, mind. Not today. Oh, the top tilt's coming in. Ooh. Hello. No thanks. Oh wow, that's a shot. Oh, man, that's dirty talk. That's dirty talk. Don't do that. Might as well spawn camp, dude. Just what I need. Is he coming in? <laughs> He's sensible. He's not going to contest a doom fist in here. Oh. I did mid, mid, in mid air hit a Farah in competitive deathmatch, so. Oh, do you see that? Meteor strike. strike. It's gonna fade. Oh, she's so dead! Stay down. Wow, I'm dead. It's dirty talk, come on, dude. It's dirty. Oh, missed it. Don't say I wouldn't have I'm dead. 
Reaper will shred me. Where is he? Damn it. Oh no, Reaper down. Get out. Don't tell me there's a top turret. Please don't tell me there's a top turret. Yes, there is. Dude, Torb, come on. Oh, I missed. I cannot miss the punch. That's the problem with Doomfist. He, like, he's shit or bust. If you don't hit the shot, then you're done for. Get over there. Got it. Oh, but the good old rapid shot from Hanzo, whatever it's called, Storm Arrows. Damn, nerf that damage. Give me my, give me my boo. <laughs> oh dear, it's not good, it's not good, it's not good, guys. It's odd for me to do it, to do videos this way. I haven't done videos on Overwatch in this way in a long time. It's very often been news videos. Oh no, you don't. Oh come on, I didn't press Q quick enough. You don't take more than that to stop me. We're on a kill drought. What? He two shot me. Whoa, okay, that's he stuck me. That's good reaction from the tracer. We cancel each other out. It's a damn because this is a winnable game for me. I mean, it still is. Tracer. Lunge. Okay, he's not gonna lunge. Where is everyone? I need to take this close quarters. Ah, oh, he leaped out of the way. I can't take that. I can't take that either. I'm so bad at this. I don't know where the Torb is. But I don't really want to take him on. One up here, any chance? Oh, I mucked that up. Okay, dude, Hanzo, get a life. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not playing very well now. I just can't get any kills. This just sums up my recent Overwatch plays. It's just, I'm not good. I used to be a lot better than this. Are you kidding me? She stuck me again? Oh, stop sticking me, Tracer. It's gonna kill me. Oh, no, she's not. Oh, leave me alone, Reaper. Why are there so many Reapers in this match? That's better. There are literally so many Reapers in this match. Oh, come on. It's a ridiculous amount of Reapers. What? 
four. And that's game over. Well, we got in the top four. Can complain, I suppose. That was way too many Reapers in that match, though. That's crazy amount of Reapers. Four Reapers of tour. Damn. That's... That's unfortunate, but hey. Overwatch Anniversary is here. That is the first bit of gameplay that I've done that's live instead of in the background on this channel in ages. That's... <laughs> That's weird to me. That's just weird. Oh, that's so weird. I feel like I want to say, God, that's not good chat because it feels like a Twitch stream. This anniversary is cool, right? It's bringing back all the old stuff. We've had Lucio Ball in the rotation on the arc in the arcade. We've also had Junkenstein's Revenge. We've now got Maze Noble Offensive. After that, we will probably have, I don't know, Uprising? I don't know. I don't know what the rotation is. I didn't look at the thing. It is on Overwatch's Twitter, the rotation. I just don't have it in front of me right now. The skins are good. I think the Doomfist skin is probably the best out of them. But that's purely your own preference. The first two heroes to over 100 unlocks are Mercy and Tracer, or equal to 100 unlocks. I guess we kind of expected that. Again, that depends on whether you've got a Mercy Overwatch League skin. It depends on whether you've got the Mercy Pink skin from the charity event before this. But the Overwatch anniversary is here. Get in, play some Overwatch if you haven't already since the event's gone live. It is good. It is cool. But also, I can't help but feel it's a bit underwhelming. But I don't know whether that's just where I'm at right now. Or whether that's where Overwatch is at right now. But Petra's quite nice. I like Petra. We didn't get to see the crumbling floor in Petra, but it's around that main, um... The mega health pack in the middle. It's around that, if you want to know. But, for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you... I can do my outro today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. See you then!